When it comes to managing your tasks, you may want a feeling of control where you can see all your tasks from different projects all aggregated in one place. And that sometimes is not possible, especially if you work in a team that requires restricted permissions across projects for example, and you're using Notion. In that case, your current situation is that you may have several segregated tasks databases. And in order to view all your tasks, you either need to use an API automation to send tasks to a centralized database, and that can create all sorts of maintenance problems, or you are okay with switching context and opening different pages to see the tasks associated with the project. And that is what Notion Home solves for. It provides one single home base where you can see all the tasks across several databases in Notion into one single place. And those are all the tasks assigned to you across several projects via different sources, meaning different tasks, databases. And in this video, we are looking at how Notion Home works, how you can customize it and how to make the most out of it. If you think it can help you feel a greater sense of control over your responsibilities. This is what Home looks like. And before we start looking at the customization options, as well as how you can pull tasks into it, let's focus on three important things to know about Notion Home. First one is that this is running out across several months to different Notion workspaces. So if you do not have it yet available from the left sidebar menu, that is why you will likely have it soon. It is just running out slowly. The second key fact about Notion Home is that it is currently only available on the desktop and the browser Notion versions, not on the mobile app. And and thirdly, Notion Home is only available to members of the workspace. Guests will not see Home in the Notion workspace. With these three things out of the way, let's focus on how you can pull tasks into Home and how you can customize it through the different widgets that it has or the different sections that you can see here. The first thing that I notice here when I land on Home that is accessible from the top of the left sidebar menu as of today is a greeting which we can hide. We're gonna look at that later. But this greeting contains your name or nickname and you can edit your nickname right here by changing it and then hitting enter to save it. Next up, there is a section for recently visited pages. These are the pages in the current workspace that you have recently opened in descending order and you can scroll to the right to see more of them. You can also quickly access them by clicking on them and that will take you to that page. Then there is likely the most significant section or widget of home that is my tasks. That's the aggregated view of all the tasks across different databases into one single place. For now it is empty and we're going to look at how to add tasks later. Next up there are featured templates. These are templates from the Notion gallery, most of them made by Notion that can help you kickstart new systems. And finally there is a learn section in an effort to educate users on Notion's capabilities and how to use Notion properly with all its powerful features and yet minimalistic interfaces. So in here you can read different articles, you can scroll to the right to see more of them and you can also mark them as complete once you've read them and they disappear from the view here. In home at the top right corner there are three dots and that's the customization menu. So when you open it you first can select if you want the home to be the default start page so that whenever you open Notion that will be the page that you will see that you will land on. And if you want this that means that you commit a bit to using home as your center base and that's where you can manage all your tasks across different projects and databases in one single place. Alternatively you can make your default start page in Notion the last visited page from the previous session or the top page in the sidebar menu. And secondly you can show or hide widgets. So there is the greeting widget that you can hide like that. Now it's not there anymore. The recently visited widget is fixed, so you can't really hide it, but you can hide learn, you can hide featured templates, as well as the my tasks section. So for now, let's keep only the my tasks section and let's look at how we can pull tasks into this view. And the way to add tasks to my tasks is to use the tasks database. And that's sort of a new database type that will tell Notion that you want those tasks to show up on your home. To use a task database, you can either start with the Notion template projects and tasks or projects, tasks and sprint or to-do list and those will be automatically considered tasks database or you can also have one of your existing databases turned into a task database. What makes a task database are three things, an assignee person type property, a due date and a status property. When a database has these three, you can turn it into a task database. If a database doesn't have these three requirements, Notion will prompt you to create these properties. So for example, let's create 
an empty database here as a table. I'm going to call it, this is a new database and I would call this tasks test. So here we have the name of the task. And if I go to the three dots of this database, I can see there is a new option here that says turn into task database. When I click on it, I can see that I need to map the property that represents status, the property that represents assignee, and the property that represents due date. Since I do not have them, Notion didn't map them. But if I go here on select, I can now create a new property for each of them. If I had existing properties, I could map them to these three property types. And I'm going to turn it into a task database. And now you can see that these three properties were created. So we will not need tags, which I can delete. We do have assignee, the due date, as well as the status. Notice how when you have a task database, you can still go on the three dots and undo the task database, which turns the database back into a regular database. And that means that the content of this database will not show up in home. Here are three example tasks assigned to me with specific due dates and statuses. Task 3 also has subtasks here, as you can see. And now let's go to here is home, and I can already see that those tasks are being pulled into my tasks widget. Here, quickly, I can see this is a table view. I can scroll horizontally. I can also see the source database where this is coming from, which is useful because when you have multiple tasks that you're pulling from, that can help you quickly navigate to the source database. And in here, on the top right corner, I can see I can quickly create a new task and select the source or the database where I want to have that task created. I can then assign a due date to the task. If there is a parent task, that's where I can select that. And then the status as well. And that now shows up in my tasks widget. On the three dots, I can see the layout where I can change the view just like I would do in any Notion database. I can show or hide vertical lines, show or hide the page icon, or wrap columns if I want, or I can also wrap columns directly from each column. I can decide what properties to display or hide from the tasks databases. I can sort. By default, tasks are sorted by due date, which makes sense. And I can filter. And by default, as you can see, tasks are filtered by as any contains me, meaning the current user of this home and where the status is not done. You have the ability to change these filters from the filter menu, just like that, by selecting other options. You also have the ability to add additional filters based on the other properties that you might have in your tasks databases. And you can also filter by the source. So if you have multiple sources, for my tasks, that's where you can compartmentalize them for a moment or for the whole day to only focus on tasks for a specific source, which could be a project or a specific business unit, depending on how your Notion workspace is structured specifically. Here's a quick menu to search. These are sort, so same sort rules that we saw earlier. And this is the filter menu, exactly the same that we just saw. You can also open my tasks in full page. And when you open in full page, you will see the same exact view, more wind on the screen. So it might be more conducive to a focused view for the tasks. You can see that tasks are grouped by status by default. And we can only have one view in my task widget. And that view, as I showed you, can be modified right here from the layout menu. When it comes to tasks, you can open each task as a page, as per usual. You will see the source and work on the task normally. And any update that you make here will be reflected in the source database, in this case, tasks test, because that is the same task that is showing up in your task widget. And whenever you mark a task as done, it disappears from the home view if you keep the filter applied here. But you can also filter for done tasks to make sure that you also keep them here just in case you want to get back to them or review them at some point. And those are the essentials and really everything that one needs to know about Notion Home, how to use it and how to set up task databases to display data into one single source for each user. You can see here I added a new task database and this shows up here. So now in the source filter, I have two possible sources that I can filter for. And Home can also be useful to visualize all those tasks coming from different databases as the management team can remove the filter, for example, as any me, and maybe look at tasks for specific people and automatically check on the status of projects and see all the tasks that they need to overview in one single place. And that concludes the overview of Notion Home, where you can see different widgets, customize it and centralize your tasks from different sources in 
into one single place without the need to create dashboards or API based automations. That's it for this video. For questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Thanks for watching for now and see you in the next one.